Hi, this is Mike from Monkey Fish Toys. Today we're actually going to take a look at a really cool new Lego set that just came out a couple months ago in the Scooby-Doo line. And this one we're going to look at is the Mummy Museum Mystery. It's a smaller set and we picked this one because it's kind of cool. It's a nice price point around $15 and it's got actually three minifigures included with it which includes Scooby-Doo of course. Can't have a Scooby-Doo set without Scooby-Doo the uh, mummy and also shaggy so first off uh, it's got 110 pieces so it's going to be a relatively quick build and we will actually be building it and in the box we've got of course the instruction booklet so it's a nice little instruction book and we'll get into it in a minute and base plate for the set and uh, it looks like uh, scooby-doo comes in its own little container it is uh, hard plastic except what's interesting is although the Scooby-Doo body is hard plastic, the tail actually wags around a little bit. It's a little bit soft. So that's actually a pretty cool mold. Um, now the body, while it does have some Scooby spots and whatnot, uh, and the collar that's painted, it doesn't have any articulation to it, which is kind of interesting. And I don't think uh, the other Scooby-Doo's and the other sets do. But let's put the Scooby-Doo head on. And of course the head rotates, which is kind of cool. And Scooby is on his way. And of course the legs are set up so that, that Scooby can sit on a plate. Like for example, we'll put Scooby for now sitting on this plate. And he sits in there nicely and we'll put Scooby aside. We have got three bags of parts. Now personally, what I do is, and everybody out there in Legoland probably does it differently. I actually open up all three uh, bags and set the parts out. So these are really small parts here. And then we've got another bag of smaller parts here. And then we've got the bigger bag. So we'll open that up and set it over here. So of course, like Lego typically does, the minifigure parts are kind of spread among the three bags. So we will take the minifigure parts out and we got the mummy. So we'll put that with Scooby. And then we've got Shaggy here. So there is Shaggy's torso. We'll put Shaggy's head on. Oh, and it's like, like Lego does sometimes, which is really cool. It's a two-sided head. So you could put on the the kind of scared Shaggy. And then here is, hey man, I'm cool Shaggy. So that's a pretty cool feature, a two side head. And Legos is doing that a lot these days. And of course we can't have Shaggy without the hair. So there is the complete Shaggy and we're gonna for now use the, use the, the cool Shaggy. The mummy is actually kind of cool. It's got a, a actually a two sided face as well. So you've got the mummy side and then you flip it around and you've got the actual guy exposed side. And we all know that the ghost or goblin or whatever ended up being exposed. So of course they have to have the exposed face. So pretty cool. So we'll set that aside and then we'll get into the building. are going to leave the decals off for this build. One little tip I've learned is that literally if you want to get your decals on straight and totally complete, you actually get a little bowl of water and you actually, and it could be soapy water too if you wanted to make it even easier, and just kind of put some water on the piece that you're trying to decal and you take the decal off and dip it in the water and get it wet. And that allows you to position the decal before it actually sticks totally. And then as the water dries, you dry it off and you tamp the, the water down. Basically, take a cloth and just get the water down. And you make sure your, your decal is in perfect position. It will dry that way and look fantastic. So that's a little tip for you for decals. But for the sake of this build, we're going to leave the instructions over here. Going back to the build. <music> Thank you. 
So here's the complete build. And the action, the action in the set is the mummy going up and down. And that's done by this little piece that we made here. The cool part of this is the sandwich is making the mummy go up and down. So that's a little play on Shaggy's uh, love of sandwiches. And so you could put the, I'd say the cool part of this would be putting the mummy in here and then revealing the mummy. So that's kind of, I think the intent of that. And then the other part of this, the other action in this is these steps, these are little steps here leading up to the mummy. These move away to reveal those jewels. And we'll take a look at the, the jewels again. And a little sapphire is there. So the sapphire, ruby, and emerald uh, get revealed. So just to wrap up this set, this build, this cool little uh, build with three minifigures, you've got your shaggy with, as we talked about earlier, the two faces, the scared and the laid back shaggy face, the Scooby-Doo and the head that rotates, but not much articulation beyond that. And the mummy, which we'll reveal again, that's also got two faces, the regular mummy face and the reveal face. And then lastly, I'll show you that in typical Lego fashion, which is always kind of cool, is you've got some extra parts. So the extra parts are these couple of pieces here, one of these little gold pieces. So that's kind of cool. That's the wrap up of the Mummy Museum mystery set on the Scooby-Doo line, set 75900. And of course, you can get this at Monkey Fish Toys at either our Exton location or Westchester location. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching.